Frederick Douglass, created by Pauline Garvillis. Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey, who later became known as Frederick Douglass, was born into family of slaves on February 14, 1818. He lived in Talbot County, Maryland. Twenty years later, he escapes slavery and moves onward to New York City. He falls in love with a free slave named Anna Murray and gets married. He, Anna Murray, and his four children moved to Rochester, New York in 1847. In Rochester, New York, he published abolitionist newspapers. They were the North Star, Frederick Douglass Weekly, Frederick Douglass Paper, Douglass Monthly, A New National Era. From then on, he became wealthy and well-known for his speeches. Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln were great companions. They both worked on the issue of slavery together. It's good to see you again, my old friend. It's good to see you as well, Richard. Now, what seems to be the problem? You know, as well as I do, that black troops are suffering as second-class citizens. Yes, I realize this, Frederick. I accept that's true. Colored troops should be paid the same as white troops and be fairly treated, especially captured by the Confederates. I understand your grievances, Frederick. I believe as well that they should receive the same promotions as whites when their valor in battle demands it. Douglas, I hate slavery as much as you do, and I want to see it abolished altogether. It's completely reasonable and understandable. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Abraham. This means a lot to me and the people who are looking into this issue. Yes. It was nice to see you. Frederick Douglass grew up a poor slave to an American abolitionist, woman suffragist, editor, orator, author, statesman, and reformer. Douglass is one of the most famous African Americans in the 19th century. He died February 20th, 1895. Mr. Lincoln, it's good to see you again, my old friend. It's good to see you as well, Frederick. Now, what seems to be the problem? You know as well as I do that black troops are suffering as second-class citizens. Yes, I realize this, Frederick. I accept that's true. Colored troops should be paid the same as white troops and be fairly treated, especially captured by the Confederates. I understand your grievances, Frederick. I believe as well that they should receive the same promotions as whites when their valor in battle demands them. <laughs> Hello, Frederick. Mr. Lincoln, it's good to see you again, my old friend. It's good to see you as well, Frederick. Now, what may seem to be the problem? You know as well as I do that Shut up! <laughs> now! 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 Now!